All right, guys, today's video, I'm going to show you um, the problem with these OKOs. Uh, a lot of you guys notice these OKOs that come from, you know, bike, bear, gas bike. I mean, anyone that's fake on the Internet and you're trying to use it for a motorized bicycle and you notice you can never get the bog out of it, no matter uh, what size pilot jet you put in it. It just, it just still has that real bad bog on takeoff and, and, you, and you're just like, what's going on? So what the bog is is just lack of fuel. Um, so anytime you get a bog, as far as my knowledge is, is, um, it's just lack of fuel. So what you want to do is we're going to take this thing apart. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, um, exactly what hole to drill out and, and how to fix that bog. So what you're going to need is a 1.5 millimeter drill bit. Um, it's a little bigger than, than most, I would say. I, I like the 1.5s, but I'm a really good tuner. So if you're not one, get you a you know, one point, uh, or sorry, one zero or 1.2 millimeter drill bit. You're gonna need that on a drill um, and a Phillips head screwdriver. That's all you're gonna need. So what you're gonna do first, first thing first, take the top off, pull the needle out of it. Because if you take the bottom of the carb out, when you go to pop the, the bottom circuit um, holder or whatever you call it out, it'll, it'll bend the needle. So go ahead and pull all this stuff out. All right, exactly what you're gonna need. We're gonna pull this bottom off. Now, when you pull this bottom off, um, be careful, and I'll show you why. All right, so you already pull this bottom off, pop it like so, and it kind of rolls out. You got uh, like your pickup tube here. Now, this is the tricky part. You don't wanna do this in the carpet or anything because you can lose all this stuff. So you normally what I do is I'll just kind of shake it like this until the clip falls out or whatever. This one seems to be stuck a little bit. So we can just push it here. Yeah, that one's really stuck. That's good. Just go ahead and pull this bar out. Lay your bar over to the side. When you pick this up, make sure you don't lose this little piece because it can fall off. All right, so save that and that. And we're gonna take out next these two screws here. I'll show you why. You take out the top side first versus the bottom side, and I've done this and I've learned not to do it. Is because the only way to get this out is kind of pull it. It's kind of glued there, whatever. See like that. So you would have bent the needle all to all the heck if you would have done it like that. All right. So don't lose your screws. Just lay it here. All right. So you got three holes here. All right. These three holes. The hole we're looking for is the smaller hole, it's the single hole. Do not touch the double holes. If you touch these, you're gonna be all kind of screwed up. That's a whole nother story. But anyways, you're looking for the single hole here on the intake, or so yeah, the, I guess the intake side, yeah, not the filter side, intake side of the carb. The small circuit hole here. This is your, um, your pilot circuit. And in motorized bicycles, and the reason you have drills out, because the motorized bicycles, they don't create enough vacuum um, to pull this circuit you know, good. Now I've noticed if I drill this circuit and I put it on my 212 bike, um, it's very loaded up and, and it doesn't work. So I've went back and put like the stock OKO back on my 212 and it works perfect. So uh, small engine only if you're trying to go, you know, 21 or bigger on the carbs. So anyways, what you're gonna do, you just take your drill bit, come in here at an angle, just like so. You're gonna hit that pilot circuit. Just drill it out. That's it. Okay. So drill that out. You can see your pilot circuit goes right down through here. See how much bigger we just made that hole in there? It's gonna pull better. It's gonna pull your fuel out better and you won't have that bog issue. So what you do next is you just blow it all out, clean it. I'm gonna blow this one out, so hang with me. If you don't have an air compressor or whatever, you can't blow it out. Um, go ahead and just get you some carb spray. That'll work just as well. Um, so you just put, this, put it back together. Right. Now put this back together here. And grab this little guy here. Slides on like so. 
All right, normally what I do is I kind of keep it at an angle, bring it in, lay it in the hole, and then grab your pin. Just put your pin back in. This one's this a little tight. Most time these pins just slide right through. And we'll try that again. We'll try it from the other side. Could be a casting flaw in the carb here. Alright. Put it in at an angle. Put it like through. There you go. Okay. You grab next this guy, kind of coming at an angle as well. Just roll it over. Like so. Put your top pieces back together and that is pretty much it I mean it's that simple um, to fix that bog issue with these OKOs and the you know as far as this motorized bicycle engines go the springs pretty tight too there you go all right and then hook your line back up this is your power jet line it just adds extra fuel when you're on full you know, full wide open throttle. And remember, this is your fuel line. These are all just vent tubes here. Anyways, that's the trick to OKO. Hope you enjoyed it.